Starfish Replicas presents Preparing a Replica from Out of the Box to Antiquing Part 3 Adding Scales Having finished the seams with the body filler, you're ready to make scales. There are a couple of different ways to do this. Here we will use a roto tool with a pointed stone. In this illustration you will see there are a few different ways to notch them in. I like to do just a few at a time. Now starting at the top end of the fish, you'll work your way from there to the bottom. Carve your scales to the size of the scales around them. Another way to make scales is to use veil material. However, it's probably not necessary to mask off the fish to this extent. Now cover the seams with a heavy coat of stain blocking primer, which is thicker than plain primer, and apply it just heavy enough not to run. Then lay your veil material across the seam. This works excellent on freshwater trout and other small fish. Always tack your surface clean before you prime and again apply a heavy coat of primer. Another method we use involves paper towel with a scale like pattern. Scott brand paper towel has this pattern. It works well on speckled sea trout and small pike. Here we are using two-part epoxy putty. You'll want to smooth out the surface and feather the edges. Take a piece of hard foam and use the edge of it in small arcs to create a scale-like pattern, like this. Another way you could do this is to use a putty tool. This is for a more intricate finish. You can slightly lift the scales to give it a competitive quality look. 
At the end, use a soft sponge to brush the surface, removing the shine, giving it a more natural appearance.